Celebrities going under the knife in an effort to maintain or enhance their already inhuman beauty is nothing new. Hollywood is a tough business and the pressure to achieve physical perfection is intense. For some in the fame game, those plastic surgeries have reportedly gone horribly awry, leaving them dodging the spotlight instead of basking in it. Here are some celebs who have allegedly hidden from the limelight after cosmetic procedures gone wrong. Look to your left. There should be a gland. No. Okay, look to your right. Janet Jackson Pop star Janet Jackson has been very candid about the fact that she had a nose job when she was just 16, and she publicly left open the possibility of returning to the operating room to get more work done. In 2014, after being absent from the public eye for more than a year, she emerged at a Vogue magazine event in Dubai and shocked fans with her altered appearance. She was rumored to have undergone a facelift which made her eyebrows dramatically sharper and her cheekbones even more pronounced. Experts also suspected she had routine Botox injections based on her so-called bunny nose. Her makeup artist told Extra TV that it was merely makeup that was responsible for her drastically altered appearance, but celebrity surgeons, including Botched and The Real Housewives of Orange County's Dr. Terry Dubrow, told the OC Register that she's, quote, a great example of how plastic surgery has changed through the years. If you look at the earlier photos of her nose and breasts, she has an artificial look to those areas. Now, either through the natural relaxation of time or modern-day revisions, she looks more beautiful and more natural, consistent with how we do modern procedures procedures." End quote. One thing's for sure, she's not hiding anymore. Meg Ryan There's been lots of scrutiny over Meg Ryan's appearance as well as debate over which procedures she's had done to her once iconic face. Experts believe she's had everything from laser resurfacings to filler injections to her cheeks and lip and more, based on how drastically different she looks in up-close shots when she does make a rare public appearance. While Ryan didn't outright deny the allegations, she did tell Porter Magazine, I love my age. I love my life right now. I love what I know about. I love the person I've become, the one I've evolved into. In my life, I've been scrappy as hell, but I feel easy with things now. I think that comes with age. Melanie Griffith an icon of the late 80s film scene, Melanie Griffith's career took a major pause for several years in the mid-2000s after she began to receive some serious backlash over her dramatically altered appearance. She told Us Weekly in 2012, Most people are telling me I look horrible. The tweets I get are really nasty. I don't know if I look that great, but I work out a lot. I have a trainer that I work with four times a week and I do hot yoga. My complication had a little complication. Indeed, Griffith has widely been criticized for having a so-called trout pout with the appearance of her lips, but it's worth noting that her first encounter with reconstructive surgery came from an onset animal attack she endured at just 14 years old, while filming with a real lion for 1981's Roar. The procedures reportedly didn't stop there, though, as experts believe she's had a facelift and eye area lifts as well as fillers, and she herself has played into rumors that she had breast augmentation done in the early 90s. Cher if I could turn back time, crooner Cher had to come to grips with being displeased with a cosmetic surgery, too. The iconic singer admitted to having several procedures done after watching herself in the 1985 movie Mask, including having her nose, teeth, and breasts worked on. Of those operations, it was the last one that made her unhappy. She said, quote, My breast operations were a nightmare. They were really botched in every way. If anything, they were worse after than before. End quote. Don't worry, Maggie. I'll have these silly things out in just two days. She didn't shy away from the big screen for too long. Two years later, she made a triumphant return to movies, including The Witches of Eastwick, and she even won an Oscar for her work in Moonstruck. Wayne Newton he spent a lot of his life in the literal spotlight as a Las Vegas performance icon, but Wayne Newton curiously withdrew from the stage. Until 2012, that is, when he had to make a courtroom appearance in Sin City, which all but confirmed in the court of public opinion that he'd been under the knife with unsuccessful results. Outsiders speculated that his appearance indicated he'd had a botched facelift and brow lift, but Newton has kept his lips sealed on whether he went under the knife or not, and blamed his retreat from Hollywood on the types of roles he was being offered. Laura Flynn Boyle Twin Peaks star Laura Flynn Boyle used to claim she was a staunch opponent of plastic surgery. I'd have a boob job if I could. You'd have a boob job if yeah. you could? Yeah. Uh, you can, first of all. 
<laughs> or, I mean, if you wanted I to. I can't. I can't. Why I can't. is that? Because I've been such an advocate against it. However, when the sheltered star stepped out in 2013, she was widely criticized for a dramatically plumper and less natural face. Experts speculate that she'd had a nose job, facial lift procedures, and lip augmentation based on those few times she's come out of hiding lately. None of that really matters, though. What we really want to know is if she ever got brave enough to get back on that bike again. Hi, Wang. Hi. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.